Hello, welcome to another video. My name is Flip. I'm Element. And we get together every Sunday to catch up on our favorite videos and TV shows, especially in Chinese drama. Handsome Siblings! Handsome Siblings Final Review! Okay, okay, so I found it very much enjoyable, very, yes. very much fun. Just like with all Chinese dramas, you get through the first beginning episodes and then you just dive in and just let it play. And yeah, the, the, <laughs> the story was very thoroughly enjoyable. There was a lot of intricate details um, that they like to layer on, especially with like the multiple arcs that they're doing, right? So just just like overall, right? It's about Hua Wu Chu and Zhang Xiao Yu mm -hmm. who are brothers. But along the way, there's like shit with Zhang De He and his son <laughs> and all of like these like crimes that he's committing. There's like, <clears throat> massacres and all this good stuff that just makes watching it you know, it, it makes it bingeable because there's so much you need to freaking find out. There's a lot of shenanigans that happens along the way, but all in all, it was an epic adventure. It reminded me, or it feels like as we get through all of these dramas, whether it be a Korean drama or Chinese drama, I haven't seen a J-drama that's quite like this yet, but mm. it's like an RPG, right? You meet all the characters, the villains, the heroes, you get in these side quests, the main quest, and then all in all, it's just this big epic adventure that is thoroughly enjoyable yes and handsome siblings does a great job of subver subverting especially mine mm. subverting my expectations because there were a couple of things that i thought was going to happen that i wanted to happen mm. but just didn't happen and some of those things were actually a little bit disappointing to me what are those disappointments well, first off, I thought uh, one of my expectations was that, you know, uh, Hua Wachu would grow up and, and study the uh, Yihua Palace jade swapping palm technique and all of their skills. And uh, Jiang, instead of, you know, the circumstances that he went through, he would have grown up under Yang Nan Tian mm -hmm. and he would be his disciple and it would just be a, 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 an epic, you know, brother duel between Yi Hua and Yang, Yang Nan Tian's um, <laughs> divine skill, right? Divine swordsman mm -hmm. skill. And so the wedding robe. Yeah, so instead of like Jiang Zhaoyu trying to just like make it out there as a trickster, he was like mm. the disciple of Nantian. And it was mm. Yihua and Nantian's skill sets going going mm. that toe to toe. I did not find it disappointing because of this. I thought that it was true to form the way Jiang Yao Zhur Zhao his, Yur. Zhao Yur Zhao Yur Zhao Yur Zhang Zhao Yur, his character was true to form all the way throughout. Yes. Only because... Oh no, that wasn't a disappointment. That was just one mm. of my expectations. Or you know, when we were discussing this, I was texting Element over here, and I was like, why can't Jang Zhao Yur, or I'm just gonna say Zhao Yur, why can't Zhao Yur just be a master of something mm -hmm. and compete against Hua Wu Che and all of his like martial arts skill? And I was getting really frustrated, but at the end, it paid off really well for me because it was true to form in my perspective that he was a trickster the whole time through, yeah. all the way throughout, and in the end, he revealed that he has not revealed his true martial arts, martial arts skill until the very end. And that yeah. payoff to me was, oh my god, like, of course, like, why, like, he's been tricking us along the way the whole time. Yeah. And now he's showing off his true skill, which was, like, really awesome to me. We know that he learned the golden... Oh, I forgot what it was called. The golden palm technique or the golden fist Just technique. Just the ultimate skills that they found in that book. Yeah, and then, you know, the Yuha Palace. -ha. <laughs> Yahoo! You know I'm going to but butcher all of these pronunciations, And then he, right? he, 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 he took learned, a master class in... <laughs> a three-day master Yihua class of the, palm. the jade swapping palm technique. But and in the end, like, I thought it was very epic. I thought it was very enjoyable. And, you know... He didn't die, none of them died, mm -hmm. and they all married off into their significant others, which was a happy ending. Now, there was one more thing that was a subversion of my expectations that was, I guess, a mix of 50-50 disappointment and 50-50, you know, missed opportunity, because something that was really bothering me throughout the series is the fact that Yao Yue, the master of Yihua Palace, 
was trying to master the ninth level of pure jade skill, mm -hmm. right? And she couldn't do it. And she ended up mastering it in like the caves, which I didn't really like. And what I was going, what was going through my mind when she was trying to master it is that there was an opportunity there for Jiang Zhao Yuar to say to her, the reason you can't master the ninth level because Yi Hua is all about, you know, um, detaching yourself from emotion mm -hmm. is that you hold this 18 year grudge. Mm -hmm. And in order for you to reach that ninth level, you let go of this 18 year grudge against Zhang Feng and, you know, mm. just her, her, her 18 year grudge of hating him and his sons. And it was a missed opportunity there to kind of like narratively bring it together. It's like, hey, you, you've mm. been hating us for 18 years. No wonder you can't master the, the final level of pure jade skill. With Jang be her, be her, be her, be her. <laughs> he could not, uh, he could not master the wedding robe divine skill because he could not understand the purpose of giving himself to the greater good. And so I would, I would combine that with mastering the ninth level of mm -hmm. Jade technique, right? Now, Yan Nan Chan mastered the ninth level because he gave up all of his powers. Of course, it was the 18 years of just reducing him to about nothing mm -hmm. where he was, he was able to master the ninth level. So I think there's a little, it's a little bit confusing, but there's some inconsistencies and some consistencies in that plot. Why don't you tell me what your favorite parts of the show is? Well, I mean, there's a lot of parts, but I'll say the favorite part, the most important part of Handsome Siblings was how they were able to reunite as brothers mm. under this kind of trick, this, this scheme that, that, that he was, you know, supposedly dead and made Yao Yue reveal her true plot. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, no one actually died in the end. They were actually um, able to become um, brothers, brothers, blood brothers. Blood brothers. And Hua Wu Chu was able to finally become Jiang Wu Chu. Oh, that is very nice. You know, my favorite part about the whole thing, yes, there was a lot of silly shenanigans throughout the entire story, but I really loved the tragic storylines of the characters, mm -hmm. especially Yu Wei. Like, she had to kill her sister, her own sister, at the end yeah. just to get what she wanted and that greed with Jang Bihei and herself with all of the villains I actually really kind of got attracted to all of the uh, all of the you know important things that they wanted their in motivations. this story their motivations and I just felt sad and I, th I just felt really tragic with that story, how it all ended. She had to, she dove off the cliff to kill herself. Jang bi -he got his martial arts taken away from him. Of course, Yu Lang deserved what he got. But all in all, I do agree with you. It was very, it was very good to see the payoff that the Blood Brothers are together again. But there is a tragic side to this whole story and I just thought that it was very, very nice. But in any case, that'll do it for our review of the finale of Handsome Siblings, a very great Chinese drama, a very great martial arts epic. Guys, leave it in the comment section down below what you thought of this series. And if you haven't already, subscribe, turn on notifications, and we'll see you in the next one.